I am back with another super quick and easy makeup tutorial. If you're a beginner, this video is perfect for you. And if it was helpful, let me know in the comments below before you leave. Now, let's get started with the first important step, which is a primer for the eyeshadows. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 Hour Camo Concealer. And I'm going to blend it out using the sponge that's also from e.l.f. Cosmetics. You can also use your finger just in tapping motions. As long as the concealer is, uh, the tone is even on the eyelid all the way up to your brow bone. And it's nice and blended that way the eyeshadows that you apply on top of that can also blend out really good so that's very important just keep blending it out until you don't see any harsh lines and today I'm gonna to be using this eyeshadow palette from CoverGirl so saturated I haven't used it in a while and I did see that an eyeshadow is broken but I'm not gonna throw it away because it's a very cute shade anyways I'm gonna grab the brown eyeshadow right here using a brush from Profusion number ES6 and I'm going to apply this on my crease it's gonna go from the inner corner to the outer corner and it's gonna be the shape of a rainbow from corner to corner I'm not going to extend it towards the tail of the eyebrow I just want it in that shape right there and you can see that when I'm blending it out I'm looking straight forward because I want this eyeshadow to be visible above my crease that way it's not hidden on my crease so if you have hooded eyes you might want to do this just to be sure that it is visible and I will be applying a few layers to deepen up the tone a little bit more and to just keep moving it a little bit higher closer to the eyebrows once it's looking good, I'm going to grab this lighter tone and I'm going to apply it on my eyelid. So I'm pretty much setting the rest of the concealer. That way it doesn't move throughout the day. And I'm also going to use this to set the concealer on the brow bone. And you can also use this part to blend out any harsh lines from the brown eyeshadow and just to make it look a lot smoother. So you can also use translucent powder or your pressed powder for this part. Any light shade will be good. Then I'm gonna grab this other brown eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. I'm using a smaller brush. This one comes in the Rimmel eyeshadow palette. And I'm applying this eyeshadow from the inner corner to the outer corner as close to the lashes as I can. And I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit. It's important to use a small brush cause it is kind of a dark eyeshadow and you do not want to start with too much of it on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to apply that same eyeshadow on my eyelid but it's gonna be like an eyeliner kind of. So I'm gonna apply as close to the lashes as I can avoiding the inner part so I'm not going to apply anything right there and just a little bit on the center but very thin and towards the outer part is going to be a little bit thicker so right here it's also important to use a small brush like this and then to extend it to create the tail of the eyeliner I'm going to grab a little more of the eyeshadow and apply it right on the outer part of my lower lash line I'm going to apply most of the product right there and then I'm going to start slowly extending it try not to have too much product on the brush when you're doing this part right here so apply most of it on the outer part and then very lightly just keep extending it depends how dramatic or how long and thick you want the eyeliner to be but always start with something very small and sometimes I like to use my finger to kind of extend it a little bit more so just very lightly without putting too much pressure because you don't want to mess it up just very lightly just keep extending it and it doesn't make a big difference but I see a little bit of a difference when I do this and I like doing this when I'm doing the eyeliners with eyeshadows then I'm going to curl my eyelashes using my favorite eyelash curler from trim and you can click the button uh, that you see on the screen that says view products and I'll have all of the products that I'm using in this video right there in case you want to know more of every product um, and but I'm gonna be using the Maybelline lash stiletto mascara it is waterproof and I decided not to apply fake eyelashes so this makeup doesn't be it doesn't look dramatic I just wanted something simple for you guys to see how cute it looks with just your natural lashes in case you don't don't have time or don't like fake eyelashes this look is super cute anyways I am going to apply two layers and I always start from the roots all the way to the tip of the eyelashes you just have to be very careful not to apply any of the mascara on your eyelid so take your time doing this and then for the second layer I like to do the same thing pretty much but also this time I'm going to apply just a little bit more on the tip of the eyelashes this is the part that's gonna help make your eyelashes appear longer so just make sure you don't apply too too much just very lightly I just add a little bit of the product to the tip of the eyelashes 
Then I'm gonna grab this brown eyeshadow again using this little sponge, just a little bit on the very tip of the sponge, and then I'm going to apply it on the waterline. If you have brown eyeliner, just go ahead and use that, but I don't have it, so I just like using eyeshadows. And you can use a Q-tip to do to apply it too. And I just love how the brown looks on my waterline with the brown eyeshadows. I feel like it looks really cute. Anyways, for the last step, I'm going to apply the same mascara on my lower lashes right here. I'm only going to apply one layer. And then for the lipstick, honestly, it, any color color lipstick matches with this makeup any brown it can be a nude or a dark brown eyeshadow would be really good but yeah let me know in the comments below what you think of this makeup please leave a lot of star emojis in the comments if you did like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you all so much for your love and your support i love you and i will see you in my next video bye